Hello and welcome to Blogmas 2023. I'm Liz and this is the Yarn Waffle YouTube channel. And um, yeah, I haven't posted a lot this year. It's been a busy one. Work's been hectic. And it's gone so quick. How are we back at Blogmas already? But I really wanted to do Blogmas. So um, there may be some days where it's literally just music and spinning and showing you what I'm knitting, but I'm going to do as much as I can. Uh, hopefully post every day. And um, I have three advents, one of which is a fibre advent. I have my usual yarn badger self-striping advent yarn. Um, it wouldn't be Christmas without it. And this year, as a, um, a little bonus, I've also got the Wee County Yarns JC Rennie Super Soft um, Advent Cowl Kit, which is 24 balls of uh, JC Rennie Super Soft, which is a really lovely colourwork yarn. You get 10 gram balls and you get a pattern to make a colourwork cowl. And I think the, um, yeah, I think the theme is Tudor Christmas or Tudor England this year. Um, I'll check that and um, yeah so, so that'll be fun doing a little bit of colour work to make a cowl every day plus I'm really really love JC Rennie super soft at the moment such lovely yarn I'll also be taking you I'll also be taking you along with me if I go out and do any sort of festive day trips that I don't have many planned but there is one on Sunday um, and various cat activities knitting spinning walks in the park the usual. If you've been here for vlogs before, you know what to expect. Um, I have a knitting machine now, so I'll be doing a few little bits on that. I'd certainly like to make some Christmas stockings on that. Um, and I kind of like the idea of making a Christmas cardi on it too. So you may see bits and pieces of that. And my usual Christmas knitting as well. And spinning. There'll be spinning every day. There's always spinning every day. Even though it's been a busy year, there's been spinning every day. So yeah, I hope you'll join me for Vlogmas this year. I'm really looking forward to filming again. It feels ages since I've actually sat down and done some filming and editing. And um, I'm really looking forward to spending this advent time with you guys. So I hope you enjoy it too. I'll see you soon. So this is the third of my advents and it's from We County Yarns. And it's a kit to make a colourwork cowl. And inside there are 10 gram minis of JC Rennie's Super Soft yarn, which is a two-ply colour work yarn. It's um it's not that they're not wrapped, so the surprise is what you're actually making. You can get it wrapped I think but it costs a little bit extra. So it comes with a pattern to make a cowl um and the theme this year I think is Tudor England. Um, and there are like charts that you do every day. I'm not going to show you the charts because obviously. Um, now I took a bit of fathoming out because there's only 23 charts. This is where they're from. Um, but I finally realised that that's because on day one we have to do the setup, which is a provisional cast on and just knitting a row. So there isn't a chart for day one. So it's only 23 charts. I always have a bit of bad luck with provisional cast-ons. I don't like the crochet method. Um, I've been using a method re recently where you literally just cast on with a long tail cast on and knit a few rows and then start whatever you're meant to be knitting in a... So I've been using a method recently where you use a waist yarn and you just cast on with a long tail cast on. And hang on, let me turn it around. Yeah, so day one we're just doing a provisional cast on, um, and yeah, so day one of the We County Yarns advent calendar, we're just doing a provisional cast on and knitting one round, and then tomorrow it starts with all the colour work charts per day, and if you follow it, you get it long enough to make a cowl, but apparently there's enough yarn to make it long enough if you want to make it into a scarf. So then at the end of the 24 days, I can decide if I want to keep going with it, or if I just want to you know, graft it together and make a cowl. So that'd be pretty cool. I struggle with provisional cast-ons. Uh, the crochet method just never seems to work with me and I always end up where it, that crochet chain just won't unravel. Um, so I've been using a method recently where you use a waist yarn and you cast on with long tail cast on and then you just knit a few rows and then you start um, whatever you're going to be doing. 
and that bit of waste yarn that bit of stocking out of waste yarn um it's easy then to see where to pick up stitches like if you were doing an afterthought toe on a sock or something and you just pick up what is the first round of your knitting and um take those other stitches off and just not use it and that works really well um but i feel like i'm going to be fairly lazy today so my hair's not dry yet um i think i'm gonna do that bit of provisional knitting on the knitting machine so i think that's what i'm gonna go and do now and then i can at least get that on the needles so welcome to my very messy yarn room the um crafting space in my house has extended this year just because work got so busy um, and now my spare room is there is no bed in here anymore it's literally just covered in yarn if I spin you around slightly you get to see out the window it's very messy at the moment all my cone and all the hand spun is on those bookcases by the computer and then behind me in these ones is all the hand dyed yarn Hopefully I won't block too much of this when I um, sit down and you can actually see. Um, I need 96 stitches. 60, 80, 5, 4. Doesn't matter if it's a few too many, just make sure it's not too, not less than we need. So technically that's 98, I think. And I'm just casting on by pushing every other stitch back. My red is in there nicely. And it's not on anything funny. To do one row. Then a bob on the cast on comb and what I always forget to do, all the other stitches come forward at this point as well. So I'm not too worried if I've got too many, so I make sure I've got none left. I won't worry about that. Now it's time to add a little bit of weight. Stop the ends. Oh, I think I'm going to just turn up the tension a bit because I'm going to be using 3.25 needles. That's all I need. I'm just going to break that. This cream yarn will actually be used, but all it's going to do is show me where the line of my provisional cast on is. So this will be where I pick up from. And that's all I need to do. Um, and so far, I found this the quickest method of doing provisional cast on. I can't, I don't think I can even like chain 98 as quick as I can do this. So if I take you down. So that's all I've done. I haven't counted how many rows it was. Um, and then what I will do when I pick up for my provisional is I will pick up this line of red stitches here. Um, and then I'll just pull out the cream and start knitting for the, the cowl. I'm just doing it. And I'll be hand knitting the cowl completely. I'm only machine knitting this provisional cast on. But yeah, a lot quicker than any other method I've found so far. So yeah, binding off is really easy. There is no yarn in the carriage. And just like that. I don't have to worry about it being a safe bind off because it's all going to get pulled out anyway. I've just changed this 
the layout in this box so they're in day order now they were in a lovely spectrum order before and i've um, ruined that but made it easier for myself so color one is chrome color one is chrome i don't want to lose these little tags because any colors that i particularly like i will probably get full cones of so that would be all of them So that's all cast on now. It's not the prettiest, but um, it'll do. It's not going to come undone, and it'll all it won't be seen when it's finished anyway. So yeah, I'm excited to get started on the colour work today. I'm a bit disappointed there wasn't any today. Never mind. Beautiful yarn. It's so soft for a colour work yarn. Really lovely.